Since the movie came out last September, one of the most common search terms that brings people to vintage space is Apollo 18. It seems nobody knows this part of the program's history. So, was Apollo 18 real? The short answer is yes. The movie Apollo 18 presents Blair Witch type found footage, supposedly of a lunar mission that ended with the crew being contaminated and killed by rock spiders. That's not what really happened. Towards the end of the 1960s, the Apollo program began losing support and funding. There was concern that the lunar module was too small to support the long duration missions that would make going to the moon worthwhile, and the potential cost of human life was becoming more obvious. Early in 1970, the last planned lunar landing mission, Apollo 20, was cancelled. Two more missions were cancelled that September, leaving Apollo 17 as the last lunar landing. Despite losing three missions, the cancellations only saved NASA less than 0.25% of the total investment in Apollo. A lot of hardware, suddenly without application, had already been built. Some excess hardware became the basis for the short-lived Skylab program, but one leftover Saturn 1B and Apollo command module took the American half of the Apollo-Soyuz test project into orbit in 1975. Formally designated Apollo 18, the U.S. crew docked with the Soviet Soyuz 19 in July. The name Apollo 18 was rarely, if ever, used. The mission was known by its full name and the U.S. half, manned by Deke Slayton, Tom Stafford, and Vance Brand, responded to the call sign Apollo. It was a goodwill mission, the first international mission, and the symbolic end of the space race. Around the time the Apollo program was cut short, Dick Gordon, Vance Brand, and Jack Schmidt were on deck to fly on Apollo 18. Fred Hayes, Bill Pogue, and Gerald Carr were set to follow on Apollo 19. Apollo 20 would have sent Pete Conrad, Paul Weitz, and Jack Luzma, though some sources suggest Stu Rusa and Don Lind would have accompanied Luzma. And now you know the story of the real Apollo 18. <laughs>